What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, me and the dog Hemi, we're gonna go chase some mud crabs, but that's not the reason for this video. The reason I'm making this video today is to announce that I'm building the ultimate creek boat, the ultimate tinny. And I need you guys to help me out with like the design part of it. So basically, it's going to be completely made here in Townsville, so local. It's going to start off as a big pile of plate aluminium and we're going to build a tinny. Well, when I say we, I mean Hammerhead Marine here in Townsville because <laughs> I can't weld for shit, so lucky he can. So yeah, it's going to be made here in Townsville and we get to design it. So this is going to be like a build series of videos. I'll just poke in this little creek here so I can tell you all the details. but. Basically, we get to design it from a pile of alley to a finished boat in the water smashing crabs. So, episode one, me telling you what the plan is. All right, so the plan is we're gonna design these boats that will be for sale. So if you're in the market for a tinny, you wanna get involved in the build process, like the design process, now's your chance. So. I'm going to always link back to this video for everyone to put their comments down down below and let me know your ideas. Like, we've all been out in a boat before when you're like, I love being on the water, but this is shit. Like, this boat's too small, the sides aren't high enough, there's no gunnels, there's no way to put me beer, no rod holders. Basically, this boat that we're in right now. Like, yeah, it'll get you on the water, but it's very bare bones. So, that's the whole point. We want to design and build a series like not just one size so we're going to have 3.75 3.95 4.15 and 4.35 that's the lengths of hull that you have to choose from um that's from hammerhead so that's good because i reckon they're pretty good sizes if you just want a little one get a little one if you want a bigger one which is what i'm going for um yeah whatever suits your needs now these are going to be made out of three mil plate, so it's not a pressed tinny like this thing. So they will be a bit too heavy to be a car topper, but who cares? So they're going to be constructed from three mil 5083 marine grade alley. So that's cool. We're using the good stuff. It's not going to be like that 1.6 mil, you know, toilet paper that press boats are made out of that you hit a good stump and you're going down we don't want that depending on the hull size you pick weight's going to be around 200 to 300 kilos so it's a decent tinny but not bullshit heavy you know so the other cool thing is being plate it's not going to be a pressed you know pressed tinny with a top hat channel or whatever they call it um hammerhead has designed this it's a new sort of design that i don't really understand but we'll get into that later in the build but yeah this is going to be new he's told me it's an industry first for strength and keeping the weight down so i'm keen to learn what that actually means while we're talking i'm just going to cruise up the creek because otherwise i'm going to be here all day i want to get these pots in the water but of course it's going to be filled with buoyancy foam because none of us want to sink I think that's a pretty important thing in a boat, especially in North Queensland or the Territory, you know, where the big snapping handbags are. You don't want to be in the drink. No thanks. Okay, so outboards. Hammerhead Marine in Townsville is a Suzuki dealer, so it's going to be powered by a Suzuki four-stroke. Obviously, depending on what size you want, you know, bigger or smaller motor, but I reckon bigger is always better, boys and girls. So straight off the bat, they're going to come out with wide gunnels, because uh, I think every boat should have wide gunnels. They're going to have a casting deck, and you can, like, everything will be an option, I think, is the best way to do it, because not everyone wants the same boat, you know? like. Do you want a, just a marine ply floor or you want like welded alley, you know? So everything will just be an options list, but that's what I need you guys for in this video to drop as many ideas, comments, suggestions as you possibly can. And that way 
I'll sit down with the team and like we'll go through them and I'll be like, hell yeah, I love that. Nah, fuck, nah, don't worry about that one, blah, blah, blah. Like, we need, it's, you know, we're brainstorming, so let's go. And with regards to options, like, I think I want mine to be an open boat, so tiller steer, um, mainly because mine's just going to be for crabbing, really. Maybe live bait fishing or something like that. Because the big boat's great and all, but it's no good in the creek, and I'm really just trashing it, and I want to get it wrapped soon. And when I get it wrapped, this shirt will make sense. Not released yet, sorry. Um, so basically, I want to have the option for you guys to either have tiller steer, side console, or center console. Like, I'm not skimping anything on this. Like, I honestly want this to be the best creek boat that money can buy, you know? So, anyway. We'll go get these pots in the drink. I'm gonna have a bit of a think about it while I'm cruising around, cause what better time to think about what you want in a grabbing boat than while you're grabbing. So we'll do a few bombs away and I'll be right back with you. Bombs away. Bombs away. What do you reckon, Amy? Bombs away. Alrighty, pots are in. Yeeha. I mean, yee yee. You like the boat, gal? Alright, pots are in. Pulled up on the beach, have a quick one. Amy's out. Yeah, I'll take your lead off. There you go, go for a run. Yeah, so I thought it'd be an idea just to have a quick little look at this boat and see if we can get some ideas on, you know, what to change. Before we get started, can we just take a moment to appreciate the serenity? What a day. Oh. All right, so the little pig. 3.9 meter Quintrex Explorer. 22 stroke Yummy, which is temperamental to say the least. Hemi, there's crocs in here, don't do that. We put the floor in, me and Uncle Trent. So it's just marine ply with a heap of holes drilled in it, which we filled up with expander foam. That's our flotation. No casting deck, just bench seats. I'm not mad at bench seats. Like I know they got flotation under them, but they get hot as shit and they're in the way. I do like the fact that you can dump crab pots out in here and they can't get under the floor like they could there. That's a plus. No gunnels, no rod holders, no drink holders, nowhere to put your phone or camera gear. I don't like that. Emmy, come here. So, storage wise, you got nothing in this boat. I like the idea of um, underfloor storage. Like if this casting deck had one complete lid on it, and how about if it had gas struts so the whole thing was one big storage box? Like that's a shitload of room. Gas struts, that's on the list. Wide gunnels, which is gonna be standard on all these boats. So drink holders, rod holders, done. Don't know if this can be done. I'm gonna to have to talk to the boss about this, but on the casting deck, like, imagine this had a casting deck. If you had a little hole with a slide thing that you could open up and just shoo the little crabs out, maybe. I'm thinking underfloor fuel tank, if possible. I have to ask about that. Underfloor insulated kill tank slash esky with a little flap on it you dump the crabs out on the floor right i hear me out this this might be hard to explain you've got your imaginary like kill tank esky down there right little flap that opens up obviously the whole thing needs to open up but just a little one 
that if you go right a legal crab just shoot it straight in boom in the ice done live bait tank may be built on the outside which is plumbed directly to the creek so no pumps nothing to go wrong you know like welded out here maybe mate you gotta stop going in the water there's crocs here look one other thing that I reckon every tinny should come out standard with now is a Minn Kota mount for an electric motor. Mint. And things like um, deck wash, you know, LED lights, all that stuff, you can do that yourself. Like, I don't think that needs to be part of a production boat, but you could go on forever with electronics. So while we're on the topic of electronics, like, let's talk about sounders for a minute. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, everyone knows that. I've got Lawrence in the big boat, only because that's what I had in the last boat, and I took it out and put in this one. I've got to say, if the new boat doesn't have a hummingbird in it, I think Naughty's going to kill me. But, what do you guys prefer? Now, keep in mind, this is only a creek boat, so we're not going to be going out you know, 50 metres of water, or you never know, could be on a good day. Like today, definitely could. All right, so what do you guys think? I'm pretty damn pumped about this, to be honest. Me being me and my channel being how I've done my channel, it is not often that I'll get a brand or a company that's willing to work with me because I, I'm not filtered. Um, which I think a lot of people appreciate and a hell of a lot of people don't like the fact that I am who I am and I'll swear and drink beer and do whatever I normally do. This is this is me. So for Hammerhead Marine to approach me and go, oi dude, let's do this, I'm like, hell yeah brother, hell yeah. So I'm super excited about that. I'm grateful for the opportunity and I just want you guys to be involved in it. Let's do it as a team. Let's build the ultimate one. Like, I was on YouTube last night. I'm like, let's see if anyone's done this. And it's all like the ultimate tinny build is buying one of these things, putting a false floor in it, putting some rod holders on it, and going, yeah, we did it. Like, you didn't do shit. You bought a hull. Yeah, anyway, that got me rolled up a bit. So that's why I'm even more excited that this is going to be a thing. So, four different sizes, plate boat, like actually tough. I'm gonna try and break it. Like we're gonna go through testing stages, the whole shit show. And yeah, sorry for all those companies that are like, oh, if you didn't swear so much, man, like, I don't care, I don't need you. I'll do this for me, not for you. So, and for you guys. Let's keep it real, let's build a wicked boat. We're gonna have a beer, enjoy the beach. Hemi's running around like an idiot, chasing seagulls. Go and check the pots. And uh, yeah, let's get excited. Let's get keen. Let's get some idea juices flowing. Drop them in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up so YouTube shares it more because they don't share my shit for some reason. But anyway, cool. Cheers. Hemi. Come here. Come here. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, you dingo looking mongrel. <laughs>